Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and we're gonna talk about Rooster Teeth purging itself of problematic content. Yeah, and a very interesting turn of events. Last night, Rooster Teeth announced that they're going to purge themselves of problematic content, and that happened right after Warner Media made a huge announcement that they were reshuffling everything, uh, everything at the top to get ready for HBO Max. And could this have something to do with it? Uh, it's very, very possible that Rooster Teeth is panicking about the kind of content that it has on its YouTube channels, that people might dig up something from 15 years ago and use it to cancel Rooster Teeth. But you know what? Rooster Teeth has basically canceled itself at this point. Uh, the company is a, a shell of what it used to be. Most of the original founders are no longer with the company for various reasons. And fans seem to kind of be running out of give a shit. And I think they're living on borrowed time. So we're going to talk about that. Uh, before I get into it, though, I want to bring this to your attention. This is Machinima. At one point in time, Machinima was the largest YouTube channel on the platform. And what happened? Well, they got bought out. Uh, they got bought out and gutted. They still have 12 million subscribers, but there's no video content at all. Uh, there's nothing. And I think this is what the future of Rooster Teeth, at least on YouTube, is going to be. Just a whole lot of nothing. Machinima was bought by Warner Media, and Warner Media shut them down. Uh, they weren't profitable enough. They weren't worth keeping around. I think Warner Media is going to do the same thing with Rooster Teeth. I think they probably will just take down all of their content from YouTube and refocus Rooster Teeth on just being an animation studio, uh, possibly making content for other streaming services besides HBO Max. I don't know what's going to happen, but this got dropped last night. Now, Rooster Teeth has had a lot of problems, and we're going to talk about that too, but they put this up five o'clock, about an hour, hour and a half after this big Warner Media announcement. Uh, today, as part of a larger content review process, we are removing some videos that we no longer feel comfortable hosting on our platforms. You know what that means, right? Getting really woke. They're getting really woke over at Rooster Teeth. Uh, they have been for a while, but this is, uh, this is a little more blatant, I think. We took an honest look at 17 plus years of videos, many of them made live and uploaded on a daily basis, and concluded some do not fit the ethos of our company today and are counterproductive to the work we're striving to do to be more inclusive of all people. We aspire to entertain our existing community while fostering connections with broader, diverse audiences. Any content that doesn't do that doesn't belong on our platform. This review is ongoing. Over time, we will also edit videos, provide disclaimers where appropriate, and continue to remove content if we so choose. This is an ongoing process and by no means our last update on this topic. Actions speak louder than words, and we hope you will see our actions clearly now and in the future. Don't hesitate to hold us accountable and offer your feedback. For more information, please read our community post here. Lots of backlash. Purity Sin, you guys still exist. Holy shit, that's hilariously sad. Uh, chaotic Keyblade. Uh, yeah, and I think with that, I'm finally done with Rooster Teeth. Uh, Black Sage D. Since we want to be woke up in here, let me post this little gem talking about how uh, he believes that uh, BLM is a fashion trend created by guilty white liberals. You've just opened up Pandora's box, uh, Rooster Teeth. Here's our blog post. And I think part of this has to do with the backlash from uh, Mika Burton, too, who said that, yeah, you guys say uh, you guys say that Black Lives Matter, but I was kind of treated like like shit. Um so they talk about what they said on YouTube, and then they said in June we stated Black Lives Matter and said we were working on a plan to ensure a more diverse, inclusive, and equitable rooster teeth. We want to be transparent about what we've accomplished and what we're still working on. Uh, Lainey Ingram, our head of legal and business affairs, has expanded her responsibilities to include diversity, equity, and inclusion. What does that have to do with legal and business affairs? She's partnering with senior HR leader Stephanie O'Connor, who comes to us from full screen. Again, another thing that uh, Warner Media shut down or uh, definitely, definitely uh, shrunk. Uh, we have also hired an outside DEI consultant 
Ingrid Hadley. Together, Lainey, Stephanie, and Ingrid are laying the groundwork for our DEI strategy and initiatives going forward. We're also working closely with Warner Media. Of course you are on all of our DEI strategies and are thankful for their support and the opportunities they open up in this area. That means please don't cancel us. Don't cancel us, Warner Media. We're gonna cancel ourselves. This is an ongoing process and by no means our last update on the topic of diversity, equity, and inclusion. Actions speak louder than words. And we hope you see our actions clearly now and in the future. I hope we have a future, Warner Media. Don't hesitate to hold us accountable and offer your feedback. People are saying you should put content behind consent forms, trigger warnings. Oh my God. Look, um, Rooster Teeth was founded by a couple of guys horsing around on the internet 17 years ago. Uh, you know, and and I mean, at this point, they, have, they are effectively removing all of Rooster Teeth. Rooster Teeth is basically dead and buried at this point. What, what made Rooster Teeth, what built Rooster Teeth? It is Rooster Teeth in name only. Bernie Burns is gone. Uh, he left in June, um, and this is about this is about uh, a week after the uh, diversity and inclusion statement on RoosterTeeth.com. But it also came out that Joel Heyman was basically fired from Rooster Teeth for probably wrong think, probably having the wrong political opinions. Current year, it's so weird. This company wants to cover up everything that it was built on. The reason Rooster Teeth became as popular as as they did wasn't because of Warner Media. Warner Media bought them because they were already popular and part of another uh, another media company. It's because these guys built it from the ground up and they connected with their audience uh, back in the day and now they just want to pretend it never happened. I don't think that's an answer either. That's not a solution either. Getting rid of all of your content is not the solution. That doesn't fix things going forward you know just i would say like look we did it this is the kind of content we made it is what it is uh we're gonna move forward we're gonna try to be better we're gonna try to be more inclusive whatever but just burning down rooster teeth everything that they've ever done is stupid and i'm telling you they're a hop skip and a jump away from machinima which basically no longer exists again we have a, a, a channel with 12 million subscribers it's empty it is empty and uh, Warner Media doesn't even think having a YouTube channel with 12 million subs is worth it. I'm kind of curious how this impacts Rooster Teeth's YouTube numbers. Let's go out to Social Blade and see if people are leaving. Yeah, they're not doing so hot. So this is Rooster Teeth's main channel on YouTube, and they get a couple hundred thousand views a day, and they're losing, they're losing people. I think this announcement is going to make them lose. Look at this. It's all down. It's all down. So. What is going on over there? Uh, I think at this point, they're trying to survive. Again, we had people from Warner come to us back channel or who had uh, familiarity with the situation come to us back channel and say, hey, uh, Rooster Teeth is, is not long for this world because eventually Warner is going to try to merge all these different uh, cartoon content creation companies that it has, animation studios and, and online content merge them together possibly with cartoon network or whatever and I, I think it's coming very soon because i think the reason they're doing the transformer show for netflix is because they're trying to prove that they still have value like well if rooster teeth content doesn't have value we're good as an animation studio you know if ruby is winding down if uh, genlock isn't taken taken off uh, we can at least be an animation studio production company. We can we can justify our existence by making cartoons for other streaming platforms. But the thing is, is this this announcement by Warner Media that they're going to focus on HBO Max might actually be a double edged sword for them, because if that was how they they were going to kick up revenue, be like oh let's just outsource our our talent to other other companies or whatever, they might be looking at this and be like nah nah everything you do needs to to make HBO Max go. Uh, we're not making content for a competitor. So, you know, at this point, like, what is Rooster Teeth? I don't think Rooster Teeth even knows what Rooster Teeth is anymore, and I don't think this is going to end well for them. Uh, they already laid off a bunch of people last year. Massive cuts. They restructured at the top. We've got the founders leaving or getting gone. Now there's controversy 
about uh, their diversity or lack of diversity. Now they have to bring in uh, diversity and inclusion personnel from corporate uh, to try to appease Warner Media. And then they made this announcement yesterday. Um, this was coming from Jason Kalar. Uh, he said that the uh, restructure was going to be massive, that they were going to basically overhaul all of Warner Media to focus solely on HBO Max and that they were going to pare down their streaming offerings. I still think that Crunchyroll is either going to get sold or absorbed. I don't think they're going to be allowed to uh, be a standalone company. And I don't know if Rooster Teeth is either. It might be that they just figure, well, we already have Cartoon Networks as uh, uh, an animation studio, Cartoon Network Studios. Let's just take the Rooster Teeth people, move some of those people over to Cartoon Network, call it a day and we're done. We can, we can get rid of the Austin offices, whatever. If they're deleting two thirds or three quarters of the Rooster Teeth content because it's offensive, you don't have anything. I mean, Kalar was talking about the layoffs to deadline. He said, I don't have anything specific to share about layoffs, but certainly when you think about why we're making changes, going from two to one content organization, because I think that's the best way to serve the consumer, interacting with talent in the simplest way possible. We're being very efficient and fast in how we work. Um, this is it. They're, they're consolidating Warner Media. Rooster Teeth is part of that, and they're basically trying to justify their existence at this point. I think this is, this is it. I mean, Rooster Teeth isn't even Rooster Teeth. As far as I'm concerned, they, they stopped being Rooster Teeth a couple of years ago. Um, they are just a content producer for Warner Media, and how long they're going to be allowed to survive in that capacity remains to be seen. But they said they're going to move very, very quickly. And within hours of this announcement, Rooster Teeth puts this up. So they're basically canceling themselves. All right, so I'm going to wrap this up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we will talk later. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.